What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm using this awesome Cologne Pompeii pasta again and I decided to try my hand at some roasted red pepper a la vodka, but I made it spicy in more than one way. So I added the Calabrian chili pepper paste that we used when we made the Carbone copycat a la vodka. And then I also added a few large cloves of minced garlic right at the end so they didn't really have a chance to cook out. They still have their bite. This is the same bottle of wine. I've had it for about a week now and I've still got another glass left in here so still good. All right guys this is such a fun pasta. I will link it in the description of the video because I know y'all are wondering where the hell to find it. So don't worry, it is in the description. I get it from this shop in New Jersey. Now I'm like pretty positive this is not going to be easy to eat but we're gonna try. Mm. Yeah. I have to do this every time. <laughs> All right, guys, the experimentation and eating this continues. Bon appetit. Really good with the Parmesan cheese too. Oh, spicy. This would be so good with some crumbled Italian sausage mixed into it. You could also do some like sauteed onion situation. I just love that combination. Onions, peppers, sausage. So good. Mm. I absolutely love this brand of pasta, by the way. It's from Gragnano, Italy, which is like known for making really great pasta. It's just really good. Even if you're not like interested in buying like the crazy shapes, they make standard pastas as well. Highly recommend. That's actually where I got those farfalloni, which are, are like one of my new favorite pasta shapes. So I noticed that when I was making this, with tomatoes, you get this like kind of acidity, but with the roasted peppers, I wasn't finding that it was bringing that acidity to the table. So I had some white balsamic vinegar on hand. I added a few tablespoons of that, but if you wanted to go the white wine route, you could certainly do that. I was already adding vodka, so you know, you could try both. I mean, it's your world. This is the fork that Shane gave me again, by the way. It says, I forking love you. Mmm. This is really good. Obviously very peppery, sweet. That Calabrian chili pepper paste does bring a little bit of acidity to the table, but that spice is like a kind of slow 
builds. So over the course of you eating it, it just continues to get hotter. I want more cheese. Hmm. That's gotta happen now. Thinking I should do like a roasted tomato and pepper a la vodka with more roasted peppers and onions and sausage. I just like love that combo. This uh, Italian restaurant that I used to go to when I was younger, my dad, that was like his order. Sausage peppers and onions over penne with red sauce and then they'd, he'd have it covered with mozzarella cheese and put under the salamander to like melt all of it and like get all like the brown bits on top. Oh, I need to do that. Mm. I was craving pasta so hard today, I'm so happy. I've got more creme brulee mac and cheese in the fridge too, which I told you guys, I'm definitely planning on making saltier next time, but it was still so good. And it looked like creme brulee, like as I was eating it, like the scoops I was taking out, it just, it looked like I was eating a giant pan of creme brulee, which I'm like kind of obsessed with. Shane's like on a phone conference upstairs. And I like I hear him. The pasta is cooked perfectly this time too. Package instructions just said 10 minutes. It doesn't give an al dente or not al dente. So I'm assuming that 10 minutes is al dente because why would Italians tell you to cook pasta any other way? So I cooked it for nine minutes in the water, then transferred it to the pan with the sauce where it continued to cook just a little bit more and now it's perfect. These are so fun. I'm gonna continue, like now that I feel like I'm not doing a terrible job physically eating this, there will be more. I really wanna do a lemon cream version, like piccata, white wine, lemon butter situation. We can call it piccata pasta. Mmm. It's both too soon. Okay, so we're a little, a little tighter. This one's not long enough. I'll try with another one.
Mm. P.S. Like I can't deal with how dark my hair is. Like I'm gonna rock it just because I haven't had my natural color like by my face this much in such a long time. But just letting y'all know now, I'm definitely highlighting it. It needs to be lighter. Like my hair down here is light, but not pure. It's bothering me. Oh, more cheese, more cheese on this piece. It doesn't want to be twirled. <laughs> what is this? What are you doing? What is it doing? You don't know what you want to do, I think. Come on, let's figure this out, Pasta. Let's figure it out together. Can I stab you twice there? Mm-hmm. Ish. It's not gonna be easy to put in my mouth. That's what she said. Some stragglers. Whoop. This by do. All right, guys, this is definitely gonna be my last bite. Get a little bit more cheese on you. We'll do it the old fashioned way for the last one. Come on, CP, help me out. That was very good. It was just slightly different than a traditional a la vodka. You can definitely tell that there's something a little bit more unique about it. But overall, really successful. I used half and half this time around because I didn't have any heavy cream. I'd probably use heavy cream next time just because it's a little bit more luxurious, creates more like luscious sauce. I'd try it with white wine too. Why not? White wine and vodka. Are there any rules about mixing liquor and wine <laughs> in your food? I cook out all the alcohol when I add like wine, liquor into my food. Alcohol gets cooked off. You know it's cooked off by giving it a little whiff. I was just kind of bring the scent into me. If you still smell the alcohol then it's not cooked off yet what you want left is just the flavor of the vodka without that like sharp alcohol bite that it has so i'd be curious to try the vodka flavor with white wine flavor obviously white wine is a little bit more bright i would definitely choose something like sauvignon blanc something more like I said, bright, acidic. Yeah, that could be really good. But the white balsamic definitely worked too. So if you're not interested in adding more than one alcohol to your dinner. P.S. 
how cute is this shirt? I'll just show you a little bit more of it. It's a crop top. And it's like the Lululemon Align. Is that the right one? Either way, it's like a knockoff of Lululemon from Amazon. $20. I'll link it in the description of the video underneath. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, I know I say it every single time, but I'm going to continue to say it because I love you. I'm just grateful for you. So happy that you guys are here, that you make this crazy, really, really strange job possible for me. I will put what I did for uh, the recipe in the description of the video as well so you guys can try your hand at it at home. And thanks so much for watching guys. I love you, I mean it. Comment also below any more suggestions you have for pasta videos and I will see you guys next time.